The mother's the heroine. Nice twist. <laughs> <laughs> How far we got? Hello, my name is Megan Ruth. I'm a Canadian living in London, England, and I react to British things. So today I'm going to be reacting to the second episode of Black Adder the Third. I have reacted to Black Adder the Second and the first episode of Black Adder the Third already. If you did want to watch those reactions, I do have a playlist devoted to it. I'll post a link to that down below. Just like the majority of my reactions, this video will be edited. If you wanted to see the unedited reaction, I'll also post a link to my Patreon down below. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me, especially my top tier patrons, Joseph, Ryan, Daniel, Reese, Kane, Robin, Andy, Hypnobob, Chris, Robin, Luca, Bios, B, Carl, Alan, Emil, Gary, Julian, John, Paul, Steve-O, Sam, and Patrick. Let's just get started, shall we? I shall become best friends with the cleverest man in England. That renowned brain box, Dr. Samuel Johnson, has asked me to be patron of his new book, and I intend to accept. Would this be the long-awaited dictionary, sir? Oh, who cares about the title, as long as there's plenty of juicy murders in it. I hear it's a masterpiece. No, sir, it is not. It's the most pointless book since How to Learn French was translated into French. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't got anything personal against Johnson, have you, Blackout? Good Lord, sir, not at all. In fact, I'd never heard of him until you mentioned him just now. <laughs> but you do think he's a genius? No, sir, I do not. Unless, of course, the definition of genius in his ridiculous dictionary is a fat dullard or wobble bottom. <laughs> a pompous ass with sweaty dew flap. <laughs> well, close shave there then. Lucky you warned me. I was about to... Before this continues on any further, I just want to say, I want to comment on the fact that he was wearing a wig when he woke up in bed. And I just think that's hilarious. Because I know they didn't actually wear wigs to bed, I don't think. But the fact that they just added that for this show just makes it even funnier. I don't know. <laughs> Brace this unholy ass to the royal bosom. I'm delighted to, to be an instrumental in keeping your bosom free of asses. <laughs> that's not what you said when you sent him your navel. Novel, Baldrick, not the navel. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds a bit like a bag of grapefruits to me. The phrase, mm -hmm. Baldrick, is a case of sour grapes. And this is bloody bullies. <laughs> and he might at least have written back, but no, nothing. Not even a dear Gertrude Perkins. Thank you for your book. Get stuffed, Samuel Johnson. Gertrude Perkins? Yes, I gave myself a female pseudonym. Everybody's doing it these days. Mrs. Radcliffe. Mm -hmm. Jane Austen. What, Jane Austen's a man? Of course. A huge Yorkshireman with a beard like a rhododendron. <laughs> oh. Didn't Jane Austen have a pen name? Didn't she publish under a man's name to help with her book sales and to help her book get published? I feel like I remember that. Oh, wait. I might not be thinking of Jane Austen. I might be thinking of J.K. Rowling. I get confused with the British authors. <laughs> Not really. I do know the difference between Jane Austen and J.K. Rowling. <laughs> Shall I fetch the tea, Your Highness? Yes, yes. And, and get that damn fire up here, will you? Certainly, sir. I shall return interfrastically. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so, Dr. Johnson, sit you down. Now, this book of yours. Tell me, what's it all about? It is a book about the English language, sir. I see. And the hero's name is what? There's no hero, sir. No hero? Well, lucky I reminded you. Better put one in, pronto. Um, call him George. George is a good name for a hero. Uh, now, what about heroines? There is no heroine, sir, unless it is our mother tongue. <laughs> the mother's the heroine. Nice twist. <laughs> so, how far we got? Old mother tongue is in love with George, the hero. Now, what about murders? Mother tongue doesn't get murdered, does she? No, she doesn't. No one gets murdered or married or in a tricky situation over a pound note. Well, now, look, Dr. Johnson, I may be as thick as a whale omelette, but even I know the book's got to have a plot. Leaving already, Doctor? <laughs> Not staying for your appendigestatory interlude. <laughs> no, sir, show me out. Certainly. Anything I can do to facilitate your velocitous extramuralization. <laughs> I will say, though, we do take for granted the dictionary these days. Not just the dictionary, the, the source as well, but, you know, just the ability to look up any word and know the definition or know the spelling, you know. Like, I cannot imagine living in a world where we don't have that 
uh, convenience, even before the internet, because even before the internet, you could still open the book, of, you know, the dictionary. You could still open the dictionary in, in book form, right? So I can't imagine pre the dictionary ever being invented. I, I, I you know, life would just be a little bit more difficult. <laughs> right, let's get the book. Now, Baldick, where's the manuscript? You mean the big papery thing tied up with string? Yes, Baldick, the manuscript belonging to Dr. Johnson. You mean the baity fellow in the black coat who just left? Yes, Baldrick, Dr. Johnson. So you're asking where the big papery thing tied up with string <laughs> belonging to the baity fellow in the black coat who just left is? Yes, Baldrick, I am. And if you don't answer, then the booty bony thing with five toes on the end of my leg <laughs> will soon connect sharply with a soft, dangly collection of objects in your <laughs> For the last time, Baldrick, where is Dr. Johnson's manuscript? On the fire. <laughs> the hot orangey thing under the stone. <laughs> you burnt the dictionary? Yup. You burnt the life's work of England's foremost man of letters? Well, you did say burn any old rubbish. And you are the worst of them, sir. After all your boasting, have you my dictionary and my patronage? Not quite. The prince begs just a few more hours to really get to grips with it. Bah! <laughs> However, I was wondering if a lowly servant such as I might be permitted to glance at a copy. Copy? Copy? <laughs> there is no copy, sir. No copy? No, oh, sir. <laughs> Making a copy is like fitting wheels to a tomato. Time-consuming and completely unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> but what if the book got lost? I should not lose the book, sir. And if any other man should, I would tear off his head with my bare hands and feed it to the cat! He did, though. He forgot the book in, in in the palace. He did lose it. So that's his fault. I mean, it's not his fault that it got burned, but it's his fault for forgetting it. <laughs> you take the string. That's still not completely burnt. You scrape off the soot and you shove the pages in again. Which pages? Well, not the same ones, of course. Yes, I think I'm on the point of spotting the flaw in this. Book. <laughs> <laughs> you go on. Which pages are they? Well, this is the brilliant bit. You write some new ones. Some new ones. You mean rewrite the dictionary? <laughs> I sit down tonight and rewrite the dictionary that took Dr. Johnson ten years. Yep. Boric, that is by far and away, and without a shadow of doubt the worst and most contemptible plan in the history of the universe. <coughs> On the other hand, I hear the sound of disemboweling cutlasses being sharpened. <laughs> it's the only plan we've got. I have some rather good news. Oh, what? Well, we didn't take no for an answer and have in fact been working all night. I've done B. Really? And how have you got on? Well, I had a bit of trouble with belching, but I think I got it sorted out in the end. on that joke for some time. <laughs> well, yes, I have, as a matter of fact, yes. Since you started. Basically. basically. So, in fact, you haven't done any work at all. Not as such, no. <laughs> Which will take about ten years. But time well spent, I think, because it's such a very good dictionary. I don't think so. Oh, God, we've been burgled! <laughs> I think it's an awful dictionary, full of feeble definitions and ridiculous verbiage. I've come to ask you to chuck that damn thing in the fire. Oh, Are you sure? I've never been more sure of anything in my life, sir. I love you, Dr. Johnson, and I want to have your babies. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, excuse me, Dr. Johnson, but my Auntie Marjorie has just arrived. Baldrick, who gave you permission to turn into an Alsatian? <laughs> oh, God, it's a dream, isn't it? It's a bloody dream. <laughs> hours of every day for the last 10 years. My mother died, I hardly noticed. My father cut off his head and fried it in garlic in the hope of attracting my attention. I scarcely looked up from my work. My wife brought armies of lovers to the house who worked in droves so that she might bring up a huge family of bastards. I can't not. <laughs> Am I to presume that my elaborate bluff has not worked? Dictionary! Right, well, the truth is, Doctor, now, don't get cross, don't overreact. The truth is... We bet. <laughs> then you go! Morning, everyone. You know, this dictionary really is a cracking good read. It's an absolutely splendid job. 
My dictionary. But you said you burnt it. Um, I think it's a splendid book, and I look forward to patronising it enormously. Oh, well, thank you, sir. Why, I must have left it here when I left the dictionary. This is terribly exciting. <laughs> oh, well, that's my novel. Your novel? Yes, Baldick, the big papery thing tied up with string. What? Like the thing we burnt? Exactly like the thing we burnt. So you're asking for the big papery thing tied up with string, exactly like the thing we burnt? <laughs> exactly. We burnt it. <laughs> <laughs> so we did. <laughs> Thank you, Baldick. <laughs> Seven years of my life up in smoke. Your Highness, would you excuse me a moment? Oh, by all means. <clears throat> most inconvenient. A burned novel is like a burned dog. Oh, shut, shut up! <laughs> Sir, I have a novel. Once upon a time, there was a lovely little sausage called... Sausage? Sausage! <laughs> Blast your eyes! Oh. Well, I didn't think it was that bad. I think you'll find he left sausage out of his dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Ardvar. <laughs> oh, come on, Blackadder, it's not all that bad. Nothing a nice, roaring fire can't solve. Uh, Baldrick, do the honours, will you? Certainly, Your Majesty. Oh, oh. about starting the English dictionary like you just think of all the words it's like how many words do you know that's a real test how many words do you know I would not want to be that person I would not want to be that person absolutely not <laughs> anyway that was hilarious as usual Blackadder is hilarious anyway thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the reaction don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't done so already see you next time bye <laughs>